So for this step, we're going to adjust the USB ports on the Pi 5 so that my little USB connector here sits snug inside the USB port. And I take a like a pin all it's something it's a weeding tool for vinyl stickers, but I I grab underneath I grab underneath these little tabs, these steel tabs in the bottom of the USB port, and I lift them up just a little bit. Probably like a millimeter. Not too much. You gotta kinda sight in there when they're lifted up. And then I do a test fit with this. So these um, connections, the silver plated connections, should be facing up. And I'm gonna plug into this bottom USB port. Make sure it's pretty snug. That's in there pretty snug. If it's loose at all, you're not gonna get a good connection. Now, here I like to, now with this in one hand, I put, I put this back in place, make sure your gate, USB, or your um, Pi 5 gate is in place. And then I like to take the board, tuck these wires out of the way, and sort of go in like this carefully. Like that. Now make sure that this gate is sitting in place correct. And then double check that the holes line up with the um, post here. This is a guide post that goes through the hole in the board. And then that make sure that these holes are lined up more or less. And then we're gonna take one M2 by six millimeter screw here. We're gonna carefully go into this hole. And then I like to sort of hold the board in place with, with one hand, putting pressure down. We're gonna carefully tighten this screw until, drive the screw in until it's just snug. Don't over tighten. This is not plastic. It will crack if you over tighten it. Okay, so now that that's in, we're gonna connect our wires. So this um, this connection here is for the LED. Um, positive is on the right, it's the right wire. So I'm gonna do the ground first. So we're gonna count one, two, three, four pins from the left on the GPIO and we're gonna put the ground. The ground is on the side facing you if, if your board is orientated like this. And then on the back row, we're gonna do our voltage pin. This is 3.2 volts, like that. Um, I like to tidy these wires a little bit so when I close the case, they don't get squished too much. You don't want to, you want to watch out for these, for the fan here, for the fan here, and also, also um, the pins, because the pins will stab your wires. And this, I like to sort of fold over a little bit, the USB wires here. Now for the power switch, it plugs into the header back here. Now your Pi 5 will not have a header there. They don't come stock with a header. So I'm gonna have another video on how to solder on a header. Now I connect this. Doesn't matter, positive, negative, doesn't matter with a switch like this. Um, and then I like to sort of bend it down a little bit. Being careful not to go into the fan. Like this. Something, I don't know, you find 
you find a place where the wire wants to sit without going too crazy. Now, next we're gonna put my custom GPIO fan controller. This is for this exhaust fan. Now this goes um, with the with this fan um, jack facing this way, like this. This goes on the far right set of pins. See, like this, and then you carefully, it's a little snug, carefully press it on, uh, making sure that it's all the way down, checking that there's no gap here at the bottom of the connection. And then when that's in, you carefully plug in your fan here, your exhaust fan. Like that. And now this wire also should be tidied somehow. Um, you might want to go on this side of this. Yeah. Kind of just do this. Like this. Get that was all tucked away. Now at this point. <laughs> I typically will do a test of everything before putting the top shell on um, because just to save yourself time to make sure everything's connected correctly um, and everything's functioning as it should so what I would do is I would plug in your uh, HDMI into this jack here the first jack jack next to this this is jack zero jack one um, and then this is um, your power input and I would plug those in at, you know of course you got to put your SD card in but I'd put my SD card in uh, hook up power and HDMI and, and boot up and then do a test of the USB test the USB ports make sure they're working um, and double check that the power switch right here is working and that your fan controller is working. 